Hey everybody, welcome to part three of uh, this Stumac Mini T build. In this build, I'm gonna go over spray painting uh, the body in cherry red, spraying the neck with satin lacquer, and then putting clear lacquer gloss on both the face of the headstock as well as the uh, guitar body. But first, safety. Lacquer is a rather toxic and harmful uh, substance and vapor to breathe in. It's bad for your lungs. And so off Amazon, I bought myself a uh, lightweight respirator. Well, to start things off, I have a video fail on the first coat of cherry red on the guitar body. I went through the spraying of the first coat and went to go turn off the video when I realized that no, I had never properly hit record on the GoPro, so I don't actually have a video of it. Uh, in lieu of that, I do have some pictures that I took of what it looks like after the first coat. And you can see some light spots and you can see some uh, darker spots. Uh, and these, uh, I was hoping would be taken care of uh, in subsequent quotes, uh, coats, and it was. With this video, uh, here is the second coat of cherry red that I was putting on the uh, tally body. What I'm trying to do is keep a distance of 8 to 12 inches evenly over the entire body, and I'm trying to make it even by going both horizontally and then also vertically. I've sped up the video just so this way it's not so boring and dull. Skipping forward, this is what the guitar body now looks like after three coats of cherry red. It's looking really pretty good, and uh, here's another picture of it at a different angle so you can see what it looks like uh, inside the lower horn and on the top. On the next day, I went to put a fourth coat of cherry red onto the guitar body. And as you can see from the picture, something went horribly awry. It turned crazy, sort of gray and fogging color. And my head was about to explode. I, I, I thought I was going to have to strip this whole thing down back to the bare wood and start all over again. Fortunately, I reached out to the customer service folks at Stu Mac and I had sent them a picture of this and asked them what happened. They immediately knew what it was. They said it was, called, it was called blushing and it happens when you spray during high humidity. Well, as it turns out, that day was really hot and humid and I was keeping the garage door open for ventilation. So the guys at Stu Mac recommended this product called No Blush Plus Retarder by Mohawk. And as you can see in this video, I was uh, giving it a good spray all over and it really did the trick. And now here's what it looks like after four coats of cherry red and the Mohawk blush uh, remover. And it's looking pretty good. Moving on to the neck, I'm not gonna bore you guys too much with uh, video that shows the spraying of it, but here I am just spraying the uh, satin lacquer on it. Uh, I ended up putting on four coats of satin lacquer and that ended up turning out pretty well. Now here's a picture of the headstock with the logo put on and it'll be ready now to get several coats of clear gloss once everything's had a chance to cure. 
Moving on, it's been a week and I've been letting the body and the neck cure before I start the uh, coats of clear gloss lacquer. So here in this video, uh, I've moved it and fast forward to get through it kind of quickly. I'm putting on the clear gloss lacquer for both the body and the neck. And I feel like my technique has gotten quite a bit better and uh, much more even and smooth. And it's coming out, uh, yeah, much better than when I first started. As you can see, I am still putting on the coats both horizontally and vertically against the uh, body uh, and the headstock. I feel like it's giving me sort of like the most even distribution of the uh, material of the lacquer uh, without creating like uh, streaks. Uh, and that was something that I was uh, inadvertently doing early on. As fate would have it, and I was getting a little overly confident, uh, after the third coat of clear gloss, I ended up getting an air bubble up here on the uh, headstock. Fortunately or unfortunately, having been through this before, I knew the process was to just let it be for 24 to 48 hours, let it properly dry, and then just with thousand grit sandpaper, just very lightly sand it out. After six coats of lacquer, I decided I was going to try and deal with some of these remaining little pores that were still visible uh, if you held the guitar in the proper light. So what I was going to do is I was going to wet sand it down with thousand grit sandpaper. Uh, and basically the idea is, is that wherever you saw these sort of like darker spots, that meant that that was a pore that still wasn't filled. Uh, through the sanding, if it was all gray and flat, that meant you got uh, it nice and level. Here I am applying coat seven of the clear gloss lacquer, hoping to fill in those last remaining pores. Uh, and if everything goes well after this coat, I should be able to let it cure and then completely flat sand it and buff it to that high gloss finish. Unfortunately, during coat nine, I ran out of clear gloss lacquer. So I'm gonna be waiting two weeks to see how much um, curing it does and whether or not the pores reappear. So cross your fingers and wish me luck.